Hi again, here's another video on SpriteKit and we're going to continue making our game. You can see in this video I'm in Xcode and I'm leaving off where our last video left off, right? I've got a simple scene here with, I'm waiting for the simulator to load here, right? And I've got a simple scene with a character and then I can tap and he can kind of fly Right, and I've got a ground plane there, and so we've got a little bit of physics going on, right? So let's change this. You know, I'd, I'd like to switch this to landscape mode, okay? So what we'll do is we'll go to the game project here, the project file, and you can see I've got, uh, you know, identity, deployment info, and under deployment info here, it says device orientation. And right now I have it in portrait, and my device all, or my app also works in landscape right and left. I'm going to turn off portrait. And, uh, and then we'll test it. So now my app will only work in landscape. Right? Oh, hey, that, that's very nice, right? Notice that since we used the size of the view, our ground plane sets itself up and fits to the width of the view, right? So that's very nice. Um, so that's working pretty good. Now let's get our, our object to, to move forward, right? So um, what we'll do is we'll go to game scene. And um, I have update down here, and we're using um, apply force to move the um, move the player object forward, right? So, or actually, right? I, I mean, not forward, but actually, right now it's 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 um, moving it up, right? So, what I'd like to do is I'd like to also apply some force to move our our object forward, right? So, um, what we'll do, and maybe we'll change this later, but uh, you know, I've got this CG vector right here right? And I could use a vector to move our object forward. So what I'll do is I'll say apply force, and we'll use a CG vector here. And maybe we'll do a vector of, you know, 50. I might have to use a larger number there. And Y of 0, right? So this is outside of our if statement. So hopefully, um, you know, this should be applied every update while this one is applied only when, you know, the touching variable is true, right? Like when we're touching the screen, right? So we'll give that a test. And there's our guy, and he goes forward, and he falls off the end of the world. So um, maybe this is a little too fast. Let's make it like 20. Oh, wait. Let's make it a little bit more. Maybe 20 is not enough. Let's do 30, right? Oh, there's my guy, and he goes off the screen there. So that's working pretty good. Um, we have a little bit of a trouble here because, you know, the, the, the scene isn't following the player, okay? So what we need to do is we need to set up a camera and have the camera follow the player, okay? So let's do that. That's our next step. Okay, so let's add a camera to our variables here. Right, we're only going to have one camera and we're never going to change it, so why don't we um, make it a let, okay? Now we can't call it camera because SK scene defines a property called camera and that we can assign an SK camera node to the camera property of the scene. So we can't just use the name camera, so let's call it camera node. And we'll make it an SK uh, camera node, okay? And um, we'll need to initialize that variable here in init. So we'll say camera node equals SK camera node. And we can initialize that with a coder or a file, but we can just use the default here with nothing, okay? And what we'll need to do is when we create the camera node, we'll need to set it up. So maybe down here we'll say add child uh, camera node. Okay, so in setup we'll, we'll add camera node as a child of this scene. And then if we want the scene to look through the eye of the camera, right, what we'll do is we'll set the camera property of our scene to an SK camera node. So I'll set camera equal to uh, camera node. Okay, right? And this will actually look exactly the same as the last example, right? 
it's going to look exactly the same. Right? Well, actually, not quite the same, right? But close, right? You know, the camera isn't moving and the character's moving off the screen. There's a couple changes, though, right? Um, one, the camera is located at zero, zero. So the camera is actually focused on the lower left corner of our scene. Okay? So remember, before our scene was here, you know, kind of in this area, right? So imagine right there, right? The center of the scene was up here. And now the camera, like imagine we were looking right here, but you drag that over to this corner and now we're focused there, right? So we need to do one of two things, either move these objects down into this corner or move the camera up to about here, okay? Let's, let's do the second option, right? So what we'll do is we'll move our camera. We'll say uh, camera node dot position, you know, x equals... Um, size dot width, you know, divided by two, and camera node dot position uh, y equals size dot height divided by two. Okay, so we'll move the camera to the middle of the screen, and then we'll give it a try. Okay, so this time it looks exactly like it did in the beginning and our, our character slides off. So what we want to do now is we want to have the camera follow the player, okay? So to do that, um, what we'll do is we'll go down to Update and we're going to refactor all this in a little bit. But for right now, why don't we do all this stuff here and then at the end we'll say camera node dot position x equals player dot position x. Okay, so if the camera x is equal to the player x, then the camera will stay centered on the player. Okay, let's give it a try. Oh, there we go. So now you can see it looks like the ground in our guy falls off the edge, right? Um, now it looks like the ground is moving, but really what's happening is the camera is following the player. Okay, so imagine like if we go back to sketch and we look at that example that I showed in the previous video, what we're doing is we've got the player here and the camera is following the player like this. The thing is we haven't made this other ground plane here, so when we move this way, the player falls off the landscape right here and it falls down but the camera keeps following it along the X like that okay so anyway so now we're on our on where we've got kind of our system set up our players always going to move forward now we need to create the landscapes and have the landscape um, you know recycle itself right so the landscape is going to move back over here every time the camera gets passed right so that was our our example from the previous video right here. Now we've implemented, you know, a portion of it, okay? So anyway, that's a good example there for today, and we'll just make that a short video about the camera node, okay? So now a couple things just about the camera node. You can make a camera node. You can't call it camera because scene defines a camera property. When you create a camera node, if you want to look at the current scene through the camera node, the camera node has to be a child of the scene, and the camera property has to be set to your camera that you created. So now we're looking through this camera at this scene, okay? And then you can position the camera wherever you want, and you'll be able to view that portion of the scene, okay? So anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope that is informative.